Hi, my name is Aaron, and I am selling my home, essentially, my current camper and truck rig. Um, the reason I'm selling is because I've loved the life of living on the road as a vagabond, and uh, pretty much have committed to doing it for the foreseeable future. So I want to get a truck that can uh, haul more people, uh, so I want to get a, a truck with a crew cab, four-door, and then I want to get a, a larger camper that's got a slide out such that it's got two beds. So uh, let me give you a grand tour of uh, my rig and uh, see if you're interested in buying it. So it's a 1995 GMC three-quarter ton truck. Uh, it's got a 6.5 liter turbo diesel. Uh, with a five-speed manual transmission. It's the uh, Allison transmission. These, it's a great transmission. You can actually shift it without the clutch if you get the timing right. The engine has got low mileage on it. It's got 136,000 miles on it. The, uh, the truck gets about 14 to 15 miles to the gallon on the freeway and around 10 to 11 in city. Uh, it's got a no, new CD deck that you can plug into your phone and have Pandora running on it. And it's also got an auxiliary input if you want to plug in your uh, iPad or whatever. Um, the stereo system is high quality. There's an amplifier underneath the seat along with that are powering uh, six by nines that are have a little bit more bass. And those six by nines are in their own enclosures such that you can take out the speakers and blast music for the campground. Uh, everything is functioning and this truck is in great shape. It's four-wheel drive which was one of my main requirements for uh, a camper because I find myself wanting to follow dirt roads out into the middle of nowhere and go exploring and uh, that's why I went with a pickup truck with an embed camper because I'd have four-wheel drive and then I'd have the reliability uh, that the domestic uh, trucks, the domestic heavy-duty trucks offer. This truck is very reliable. Um, let me show you, let me start up the engine for you so you see how, how well it runs. And This engine has been fantastic for me, uh, no complaints. It's a diesel, so you got to wait for that uh, light to go out. But it fires right up. I fired it up on the mountain. Um, uh, it was like 10 degrees below freezing and uh, started no problem. Uh, light switches. Let me, let's go take a look at the, the engine compartment. Love that diesel sound. Everything is running as expected. Uh, engine's got great performance. Uh, gets up to freeway speed no problem. Uh, this is a motorcycle rack that I've got in the front here. You can put either a, a small dirt bike around a 250 size or a moped up front for uh, extra transportation. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Uh, there's all the needed gauges. you got your oil pressure gauge, your voltage gauge, and your temperature gauge. Just to all good things to watch while you're driving. This truck's never overheated on me. It's not losing oil. It's not losing coolant. Um, I've driven it uh, across the Rockies twice and didn't have a problem uh, uh, either time. Uh, behind us is a uh, bench seat, but I've crammed all kinds of sporting good equipment in there. i got a bike, a bike and a couple skateboards, some uh, snowboard, and camping gear, you name it. It's, it's back there. So I need a bigger truck if I want to travel with people. All right, so let's uh, let's go check out the camper. This is a 1991 Northland camper. Uh, it's important to say that both the truck and the camper are from Washington State over on the West Coast. Uh, so there's no rust uh, to be found on either. Uh, the camper doesn't leak. And uh, everything functions as expected uh, as we're traveling through. Pretty much everything except for my clothes and my tools come with the sale of this truck. So you're going to be getting all of the odds and ends that you need to live out on the road. Uh, this is the power outlet to plug in. 
uh, if you have uh, an extension cord to plug into. There's the heater. Uh, that's where the batteries are for the camper. Uh, there's two batteries in the camper and two batteries in the truck. So four batteries total. Plenty of voltage. Um, this bin slides out. It's great. It's probably about eight feet long and it'll slide out to about here. Uh, and you can imagine all of the space you can have inside that drawer. Uh, here's where I store my chairs and my um, mat for camping. So this is also pretty deep. Uh, all the lights work. Uh, okay. Here's another storage compartment. It's a nice, good sized storage compartment and it locks. You can see how big of a storage capacity it is. Here is where the propane tanks are, two of them. Uh, in the winter, a propane tank will last me a week. In the summer, it'll last me about a month. So really, there's two weeks or two months of propane there. And this is the back side of the fridge. Uh, the fridge runs on propane or 120-volt uh, electric if you have it plugged in. So let's uh, go take a quick look up top. I'm going to have to do this one-handed. Oi. All right, so here's the top. Uh, there's a 100-watt solar panel right there. And you can see I've got my kayak stored up top as well. Kayak does not come with the cell. I love that kayak, but uh, I would encourage you to get your own. Uh, it's been a great addition to the camper. Uh, and you can see the skylight over there and a couple vents. Uh, no leaks. Uh, you do have to seal it up on occasion. I uh, just recently sealed up the roof. Just, you know, little cracks will happen, like you can kind of see one right there, and you just silicone it up. Uh, real easy maintenance. All right, let's go uh, check out inside the camper. Oh, yeah. Hi, by the way. Nope. Oh. Wait, is it that way? Okay, there we go. Hi. All right. So, welcome to my camper. It's a shoes off establishment. Keep things nice and clean. I always get compliments on how roomy this place feels. Uh, it locks behind us, so uh, lots of great security there. So let's uh, go ahead and back up. Uh, windows are very fun to open and close. They're louvered. And here we have a, a table that will fit five people if I didn't have uh, storage right there but that also turns into a seat and then uh, this is space that I'm using to store stuff that's where my generator is right there under I wouldn't recommend getting a generator I barely use it I know it's pretty pricey um, and then here we've got a storage bin where all my power tools are and it's really deep back there I, it, I can put my hand all the way back there um, and then also we've got a ton of storage up here you can see how deep it is it goes farther back but I've got a ton of stuff hanging up there um, and yeah here is the bathroom and shower lots of storage kinds of toiletries and stuff okay. uh, more storage here storage is king on the road you want place to store all kinds of stuff and here's a shower head uh, if you wanted to take a shower on the road you can uh, the camper's got a water heater on it uh, you got to light the the pilot light from the outside I can show you how to do that in person uh, and it heats up in about 10 minutes um, but I typically uh, find showers on the road instead of taking them in here because that's a big expenditure of water uh, the fresh water tanks holds 25 gallons of water which is enough for two weeks uh, living out in the forest, which I have done. And living out in the forest has been just phenomenal. You see all these maps have been. This was a map to a hot springs in Southern California. This is uh, Sedona, Arizona. Uh, this one is uh, Arches in Utah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this, this camper has just been phenomenal. This is uh, Joshua Tree in California. Anyways, uh, this is where I store all of my food. I can fit easily two weeks of food in here. Uh, probably more like three, four weeks. I've never eaten through all of it. <laughs> I've just been adding to it. And there's a nice cupboard up here. Um, 
Here's my fridge. Runs on propane or electricity if the camper's plugged in. Works great. Uh, has a freezer as well. It keeps things nice and solid. Uh, yep, very low consumption on propane. I was very pleased with this guy. Uh, okay, uh, on the other side we've got a stove top and oven. Uh, they both function great and are very clean. Uh, got to have my chicken nuggets. So oven is key. A spice rack. And another basket that holds all my other spices and random doodads. Here is a big amount of storage right here. Uh huh. These all slide out. Here's some random games. My electronics drawer. Tape drawer and all kinds of random stuff. And it's where I keep my winter clothing and bedding right there. And then uh, cereal boxes and whatnot. Okay, uh, here's a microwave. Uh, currently the microwave will not run unless you've got the camper plugged in to an extension cord. But I've got a big enough uh, power inverter to run it. I think I just need to bring the power inverter closer to the batteries such that it can uh, deal with the initial... Uh, voltage pull of the microwave. This is a 700 watt microwave and an 800 watt inverter. So this should work. So uh, I think it just, I need to move the inverter somewhere over here. Oh, by the way, here's the, the heater and there's a vent for the heater and there's another vent for the heater over there. And then here is the controller for the 100 watt solar panel. Um, I've had the camper parked for two weeks straight without running the engine and that 100 watt solar panel uh, did a great job uh, keeping things charged. No problem starting it back up. Uh, camper comes with a brand new fire extinguisher. This is actually my toolbox right underneath here. So I'd recommend finding some storage or buying yourself some tools and because uh, this is this has worked really well as a nice little bench there. <laughs> All right. What else I got to show you? So there's there's more storage. Um, this goes into the, in between the camper and the bed of the truck. I've got like 10 pairs of shoes over there. And then there's an equivalent one on the other side. Uh, you know, here's all my toiletries, things i got to access on a daily basis. Um, and then I've got four more drawers over here. Random sauces I pick up on the road. Uh, you know, typical kitchen stuff. Okay. Uh, the heater is controlled with an electric thermostat that's programmable and also illuminates at night, so that's nice. Uh, the wall outlets don't work unless you are plugged in to an extension cord. Here's where I've put my silverware, uh, just utilizing all the space possible. And There's more shelving up here, the lighting isn't very good, but you can see there's shelving here. Um, and then here we've got two sinks. Uh, work. Fantastic. Uh, here's where you check your water level. These are the. This is gray water. This is black water. This is fresh water. And then this is my condition of my battery. And then this is the pump that turns on. The, this is the switch that turns on the pump for the fresh water sink in the bathroom. Uh, underneath here is the fresh water tank and some more storage. Uh, see, I've got my. Uh, trash cans bungeed in. There's bungee cords everywhere uh, to keep everything in place as I'm driving around. All right, let's go check out the bed. This is a queen size bed, oh, and it is ultra comfy because it is a memory foam mattress. Um, and here is my big screen TV, so we can just chill here and watch movies and be comfortable. Uh, the screen will run. Uh, off of the batteries. I just plug in my laptop to the screen and you know watch uh, Sons of Anarchy or Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, if, if, I, if you end up buying this, I'll hook you up with all kinds of good media to keep you entertained on the rainy days. Uh, nice sunroof. This is the best alarm clock ever, is waking up to sunshine instead of that annoying eh, eh, eh. So that's been fantastic and these windows open up. There is a ton of storage for clothing. I have too much clothing, but I've managed to make it all fit. You know, just a bunch of uh, shirts and stuff in there, and then there's that's my underwear drawer down here. Um, and then hanging shirts, 
a place for my belts and looks like there's some CDs in there, my hats, another hanging storage, and more drawers here and there. So you can see there's a ton of space. And then nice little window over here. All right, what else can I show you? Um, living on in the road has been great. I'm going to continue to do so. Uh, like I said, it's just I want uh, a larger truck that's um, got more room for people to travel with me. And uh, this truck isn't really suited to tow. Um, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's at its max weight, but I wouldn't tow uh, a trailer any significant distance or up the mountain pass and uh, I have plans to get into politics and promote a new political party and so I need a trailer to have those supplies and uh, you know speakers table um, brochures yada yada so um, yeah I need a truck with a little bit more power and uh, room for more people do it as a do as a group and it'll be a lot of fun but uh yeah, I hope you consider this. This has been a great purchase for me. I'm very happy with it, and uh, I know you will be too. It's an it's extra reliable vehicle. It's got lots of mileage left on it, um, and uh, I would happy to show you how to vagabond and live on the road and um, live really cheap. I've been going off of $400 a month. Uh, that's $100 for gas, which gives me about a 300-mile range. Um, uh, the camper gets around uh, 14 miles a gallon I think I already mentioned that um, and then uh, $100 for uh, insurance and my phone and then $200 for food and entertainment so um, yeah I love the lifestyle I'm going to keep living on the road and who knows maybe you'll buy this and decide to caravan up with me uh, uh, that would be great I'm always looking for people to travel with well I hope you enjoyed the tour um, and uh, give me a call. Uh, we'll talk uh, numbers and uh, see uh, see uh, if you want to buy this thing. All right, take care. Bye.